Um, now this again differs if you're on uh, XP Windows or I, I have no idea about Vista, I'm sorry. But if you're on Windows 7, then you're going to open up your start. Actually, if you're on, uh, it doesn't really matter, if you're on Windows 7, XP, and probably Vista, probably, then you're going to go to start, then open up your control panel. For Windows, uh, if you're on Windows XP, then there will be a firewall, Windows firewall uh, section already. Uh, so you'll double click that if you're on Windows XP. But if you're on Windows 7, then you'll go to System and Security and click on Windows Firewall in the game. Next, you're going to go over here and go to Advanced Settings, which uh, does require administrator privileges. Next, we're going to go to Inbound Rules. And we're going to put a new rule, a new exception. We're going to want it to be a port. We want it to be TCP, a specific port, the port number being 43594. Um, allow the connection. And uh, that you can do at your own discretion. Though. The name can be the name of your server, uh, or just RSTS in general. And then you are done. Now uh, that is basically everything you have to do with port forwarding. Um, if you have any questions or get any errors, then please comment below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, I have. Um, testing coming up next week, but that's actually bittersweet because I won't have any homework, nor will I have, um, I get to go to school late. So uh, with that, that is all for my first, uh, second video, rather, uh, and I will soon be making a number of um, little snippets and little tutorials to show you how to make things. My plan is to Start with Delta 317, move to Pi 317, I mean Project Insanity 317, um, and then move up to 474s like that in that manner. But for my first video, I mean my second video, for my second video, that is all. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, sorry, uh, something which I realized I forgot is that if you're on uh, XP and you're going to block, I mean, uh, open the port. Then go to start, control panel, there will be a little firewall button, um, it'll be called Windows Firewall, and from there uh, you have to go to exceptions and uh, say add port, the port um, name can be RSPS or the name of your server, it doesn't really matter. The port number again is 43594. Uh, and then TCP. And just press OK, OK, and then you're done. Sorry about that. Thanks guys.